The Polygon Siskiyou D5 might just be the best budget dual suspension on the market. This bike honestly feels amazing when you're going downhill compared to what it does on a hardtail. And the main difference I've noticed was just having that rear suspension there. It just makes all the roots and rocks feel so much smoother. So why don't we start by looking at the suspension. The bike has some tour shocks front and rear and I'm pretty sure they're both 120mm. The front one up here is a coil spring and the one back here, that one's an air shock. Coming from a hardtail, it's just amazing how much of a difference a dual suspension makes when riding on the trail. It just feels like 10 times smoother. If I was going to keep this bike any longer, I'd probably upgrade this fork because the coil shock, although it works well, when it comes to jumping and stuff, it's just not as smooth as an air shock would be. It has a 2x9 drivetrain where honestly I would probably prefer a 1x, but at the end of the day it doesn't make heaps of difference and I haven't had any issues with the chain slipping. The derailleur seems to shift pretty well and I've never had any issues with misalignment or anything like that. It's fitted with hydraulic Shimano disc brakes. They're very good for the price range and do have some really good stopping power. I actually really like the geometry on this bike, but it should be noted that the sizes seem to be a bit smaller than usual. For instance, the large frame to me seems a bit more like a medium large frame. It's also fitted with 27 and a half inch wheels, which is a good balance between 26 inch and 29ers. I have made a few upgrades to this bike, like I upgraded the pedals to ones that are a bit more grippy. I've also chucked on a drink bottle holder. The main thing I've done was add a dropper, so you just push in that lever and the seat goes up. Honestly, seeing as this bike probably will be used mostly for cross country, I would personally recommend installing a dropper as it means you can get the seat low for the downhill parts, but you can also get it up to make sure you get the maximum power from your legs on the uphill. I've added a new stem here, but that was just because the old one broke while I was doing some maintenance. I've also just got some grips on these bikes which I prefer to the ones that came stock. Overall, this bike's actually been amazing for the price, although I would suggest if you were thinking of doing stuff like upgrading the dropper and upgrading the forks, if you were buying the bike brand new and not second hand, I would possibly recommend checking out the D6 or the D7 because they have some of those features and it just means that you don't have to worry about upgrading them yourselves. Overall, when it comes to value for money, this thing is amazing because it comes so cheap in comparison to other dual suspension bikes on the market. I hope you enjoyed the video, so make sure to like, subscribe and comment any questions you may have.